Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, we are going to be making a salad. More specifically, a dense bean salad, DBS. Have you heard about this? This is having a moment on the internet. I have to thank my friend Heather Martin for tipping me off on this one and you should check out her write-up about it. I'll put the link down below. She wrote about it for the Today Show and it's the DBS. Credit has been given to Violet Witchell for making this take off, but there are many permutations and variations on this salad. So what is a dense bean salad? It's basically a bean salad, but it's dense because there's no leafy greens to the salad. It's got beans and other high protein ingredients like cheese balls, meats, you can put deli meats, steak, grilled chicken, and a vinaigrette dressing that ties everything together. Apparently, Violet meal preps this every week, a variation of it, and packs it in little containers to eat off of for the week, and it's gotten very popular. And I can see why. It's a very beautiful looking salad. It's apparently supposed to taste better as it sits along, and you can meal prep it, meaning you make it earlier in the week, and then you eat it for the rest of the week so you don't have to think about what you're gonna have for lunch. So I know a lot of people find that appealing, but I'm curious to see if it's good enough that it's something I want to eat for the rest of the week. I'm somewhat skeptical because I am not a meal prepping type of person. If I make a meal for myself and my family, there may be some leftovers, but just enough for one day. We'll eat the leftovers for lunch the next day, if we have leftovers. And then that's that. I'm not a type of person that likes to make a big batch of something and then eat it for the rest of the week. I, I myself like a lot of variation and if you haven't noticed already, I really enjoy cooking and making things. So I get a lot of pleasure out of making food. But if something like a dense bean salad encourages you to cook for yourself because you are worth the time and worth the effort, then by all means. So let's go ahead and make it. As I said earlier, there are a lot of variations on how to make this. Basically, you're making a dressing that's going to tie all these components together. And the components tend to be high in protein, so you can use canned beans, you can use chopped deli meats, cheese, put those all together, have a dressing, and then add vegetables that you like. And one thing to consider if you're making something for meal prepping, don't forget about food safety. If you're cooking a bunch of chicken, for example, or some kind of meat to put in the salad, make sure it's completely cool before mixing all these ingredients together. We don't wanna have a warm salad and then put it in the refrigerator so it can have a warm place for lots of bacteria to grow. So make sure all the items that you are using are cooled and that the salad remains nice and cool. The version I'm going to be making today is the sun-dried tomato one, because I happen to have a lot of these ingredients in my pantry. And I think that's how you should approach this recipe. It's basically the same salad with different little components and you can also customize this to your own palate. Maybe you're like my youngest child and don't like tomatoes, then by all means, don't put tomatoes. Put a vegetable you like. Alrighty, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've got some smoked turkey here. You chop that up. into bite-sized pieces, whatever's kind of manageable pieces. Add that to my bowl. And I'm gonna use about a half a package of that. I'm gonna be using some pepperoni as well. This is gonna be a little bit inspired by kind of an Italian grinder or Italian sandwich. We've got this vinaigrette, some basil, mozzarella, and some pepperoni. My children actually quite like pepperoni. They have pepperoni sandwiches pretty regularly or just pepperoni as a little snack. So I'm going to use a half a package of that. Add that to my bowl as well. And then I'm going to add drained chickpeas and I'm going to use one red bell pepper. I'm going to cut up my pepper. I think I'm gonna cut mine into small kind of dice. Like that. I think if it was something like this, it'd be a little bit difficult to eat and to toss as well. So kind of a, not a coarse chop, but a small dice. Bell peppers add a ton of flavor and color, but I find sometimes they make me a little gassy, so I don't eat too many of them. So we'll add that. 
I've got some beautiful basil here. Boom. And this came out of my garden and I learned something new. I have never been able to grow basil with beautiful leaves. No matter the variety I get, I'll get the Genovese with a big leafy basil, but my basil never gets nice and big. And I think I figured it out. So I have to, you have to pinch off the little tips. You see how that has a new growing tip on it? You've got to pinch that off. And then the leaves below start to turn really big. So that's what I did to my basil plant. I pinched off all the tips and I've got all this beautiful basil. I can make it into pesto or I can put it in the salad. So I'm going to take a bunch of this. Basil is super fragrant, has a beautiful kind of licorice smell, but it does go black. I find that it doesn't hold its color all that well, but has beautiful flavor. So to counteract that and to add more herbs, we can add some flat leaf parsley. This too came out of my garden. Look how gorgeous. So even if you don't have a lot of space, you can grow basil and Italian parsley. Just put them in a pot. So worth it. You buy a start for a few bucks and it's already paid for itself. So I'm gonna chop this up as well. I'm removing the stems because they're a little bit woody. Now, parsley, unlike basil, will stay nice and green with heat and time. So this will stay nice and green. So that's why they often use it in garnishes. Also, it has a lovely flavor. So that was a good handful of parsley. You can always add more if you like more. And then I have a shallot, which looks kind of like a red onion, small red onion. And it tastes similar to an onion, but it has a stronger flavor. It is different. If you don't have a shallot, you can use a red onion. You could even use a yellow onion. I won't tell anybody, it's fine. You could use green onion. My point is, use whatever onion you have on hand. So, go across. And this we wanna mince up finely because this is very strong. It's gonna add a ton of flavor. So this is one, this is a pretty big shallot. Or shallot, I think that's how they pronounce it in French. I don't know. Didn't take French in school, so sorry, my French speaking lovelies. <laughs> All right, go across and then cross this way to mince up the shallot. Transfer the shallot into our dressing making bowl, or that could have been in the base of that. If I was smarter, I would have should have done that. Should have done the dressing first in the large bowl, then I wouldn't have to wash another bowl. Didn't think ahead. Now, almost done for the prep. Now I've got some tomatoes. These two came out of my garden. It's such a beautiful time of year. Love this time of year. So many beautiful things growing. And so I've got some sun golds and these are sweet 100s. And this is Friday. I don't remember what it's called. Magic Mountain, something like that. Anyways, delicious. So we're just gonna cut those in half and add them to the salad. These will add sweetness and, of course, color. Sweetness and tartness. Tomatoes are also have a good amount of acidity as well. So for these larger tomatoes, I'm cutting them into quarters. So this was probably about a cup of tomatoes. Beautiful into the bowl. Everything else. Also got some marinated artichokes and sun-dried tomatoes. This is the whole reason why I'm making this recipe is because I had these in my pantry as long, along with the basil and the tomatoes. That's the one I'm gonna make. Sun-dried tomatoes are just tomatoes that have been dried and then kept in some olive oil most often. And I'm just gonna take some of those out and give those a chop because they can be a little bit tough, but they're full of tomato flavor. So I'm gonna use about six of these. And artichokes, I'm gonna use, how big are these pieces? You can use as many as you like. You could use the whole jar. But I think I'm gonna put some of these on my pizza for dinner, so I'm gonna save a couple. But go ahead and use the whole jar if you like artichokes. And if you don't like them, don't put them in. So the sun-dried tomatoes, I'm gonna chop a little finer because they're can be a little bit tough, but full of flavor. So add those in. 
There's also sun-dried tomatoes that are not packed in oil, and if you use those, I would suggest maybe blanching them with a little bit of hot water to soften them up a little bit. And for the artichokes, I'm just giving them kind of a rough chop. Add those in there too. Alrighty. Oh, lastly, for even more protein, I've got little mozzarella balls, and I chose these ones because these are marinated, so even more flavor. These are marinated in herbs and oil and spices, it says. Little balls of cheese. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna use this oil that's here already in my salad. So I'm just gonna add all those mozzarella balls in there. Okay, now we're going to make our dressing. Here's our minced shallot. And to that, we're going to add a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. If you don't have red wine vinegar, you could use apple cider. You could use distilled, whatever you got. And to that, we're gonna add some olive oil. We're gonna use twice the amount of olive oil. And I'm gonna use the oil that came out of my cheese. because it comes, look at all the seasonings that are in there. See, lovely. Twice the amount of oil, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of Dijon mustard. It's probably about a half teaspoon. And then about a tablespoon Italian seasoning. Boom, combination of garlic, oregano, basil, rosemary, marjoram. It smells great, savory and sage. So we've got some salty things in here already, the deli meats and the cheeses. So I'm gonna start with a half teaspoon of salt, lots of cracked pepper. Now we're just gonna whisk that together. Now Violet uses a milk frother to mix her dressing. She loves it, she says, because it gets all creamy and makes an emulsion, but you can do that with a whisk too, just like this. And it doesn't need to be super creamy anyways because you're just gonna pour it over your fixins and it, it's, gonna, it's gonna be just great. So look at that. The secret to making an emulsion is having something like an egg yolk, or in this case, we're using Dijon mustard to tie the water, which is the vinegar, along with the oil. Kind of link them together. And look, we have a dressing. Let's taste it for salt. Mmm, pretty good. Now we're gonna take our dressing and pour it over the top. I'm gonna add that much. And then if it needs more, I'll add more. Okay, now I'm gonna use a couple of spoons and just give this a toss. Look at that, look how colorful that is. Beautiful. All right, my lovelies, let's give our dense bean salad a taste. Have to say, it looks pretty beautiful, but it makes a massive amount. And this is only one can of beans. Original recipe says two cans of beans and then an additional red pepper. So a lot of salad. And let's give it a stir and give it a taste. So I would imagine this would be even tastier after it sat together for a while and all the flavors got to melt. So we're tasting it right away but I would imagine the flavors would be even more concentrated in a few hours even, even or the next day. So here's a close up of it. Got a little bit of everything and let's give it a taste. Have some beans, some turkey, pepper. Here we go, eat the lucky moss. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. mm. I like the use of the smoked turkey in there. I feel like it adds a little nuance and complexity. The beans are a nice little blank canvas, take up the vinaigrette very nicely. I did not use all the vinaigrette. I would suggest doing something similar and adding most of the vinaigrette and holding off on some of it because you may not need all of it. It might be salty enough without it. It's gonna be sitting in a lot of liquid. It's gonna exude some liquid as it, as it sits together too. So 
keep it from getting too soupy, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm. The fresh parsley and basil are really outstanding in this. Makes it really bright and tastes fresh. Tomatoes, of course. Bell peppers give a nice crunch. Mmm. I think in the artichoke. Mmm. It's great. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Boy, I haven't had a jarred artichoke in a while. Pretty good. Kind of brinier than I remember. Mm hmm This is a great salad. It reminds me of an Italian grinder sandwich. Mmm. I didn't try a piece of cheese yet. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, the cheese is great. Squishy. Yep, bouncy. And very well seasoned because it was sitting in that flavored seasoned oil. But this is a great little salad. And I'm sure the other variations are delicious as well. Would I want to eat this every day? I'm not sure. I think if I lived a different lifestyle, perhaps. Uh, but I know myself that I don't typically like to eat the same thing every day. So I don't think I would make this for myself to eat every day, but you are different than I am. So if this makes your life simple, if this makes you eat more protein, if this gives you an opportunity to cook for yourself, then by all means, please do it. Will it change your life? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where you're at right now. Maybe. <laughs> I saw some comments in some of the videos and they said they have outstanding poos thanks to this salad. So there you go. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Alrighty, my lovelies. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you. Get so many great suggestions from you. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. But will my kids like it? Yeah, I think they will. My youngest one's going to pick out all the pepperoni, 100%, and avoid the garbanzo beans. I don't know what he has against them, but... Oh, man. Now I'm going to have to clean this shirt. All right, it's time to go. Mmm, tomatoes! Wow, oh, tomatoes are so good.